Lindsay. I'm just getting some things situated here. The Angel. Roger Smith. No, you're not the first. Oh, you're the first comment. Okay. Um, give me a second here. I'm just getting things set up. Okay. I'm here. I just need to get chat room pulled up. Uh, give me a minute. I want to show you guys some new firmware for the Legends. It's still beta, but it's one of the CES announcements, and PK has given me the okay to show this. So, <laughs> Jason, that's funny. Uh, all right, let me get this pulled up. Cause I want to also record this because I'll upload it to YouTube. Yeah, so we've got um, some new firmware. How's the audio? I want to make sure that we're good with audio. And you guys can hear okay. I just need to get into my YouTube studio to make sure I can pull this up with comments. You want the beta? Um, let's see here. It should be live on YouTube. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this should be listed. Let's see here. People, can people see this? I need to unlist. Uh, how do I? Hmm. It says unlisted, but I need it to be listed. Oh, there we are. That's where it's at. I want it to be public. Come on, y'all. Come on over. Okay, video's live. Give me a second, guys. And just wait for everybody to get in. And I have to play around with YouTube here. <laughs> this is why I don't do the, the YouTube stuff. It doesn't always work. All right. I'm almost figuring this out. This is public. Let's get over on the YouTube. All right. All right, so there we go. I think we got people coming on YouTube now. Let's see. One watching. So I can, I'm going to have to switch between YouTube and Facebook. All right. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. So let me get this um, going here on. All right, so I got to do a bunch of things here. And I need to mute this. All right, so let me get positioned here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick live stream video real quick. All right. Wait till everything. Is. Hey guys, uh, you guys know me, Steve from the Tech Buzz. And so, one of the big CES announcements from At Games is the ability to have a virtual PC on your At Games. Now, you guys saw the picture that I put out earlier, and uh, it's kind of cool. And the code name for it is MGR or My Cloud Game Room. So that is something that you guys have seen pictures of that I put out on Instagram earlier. I was playing with it a little bit. So what you're going to get to see is a little bit of me playing with it um, without uh, actually playing with it a long time. So I got into it and I was playing some of the stuff here. So let me kind of transition you over to, let's see if we can go to the game full screen here. And let's make sure.
got two here. All right, you guys should be able to hear me now on this. Okay, so this is the this is the um, this is the interface here. So let's go into the 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 B O G, the B Y O G, excuse me. And if you notice down here, we now have M G R that's available. Now it says Miami, and uh, you're probably going to notice that you've never seen that before. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on that. Now it's going to tell you that the servers need a little bit of time to warm up because, well, they have to get it situated. So it brings you back out here. So we're going to let that warm up for a second here. Um, and then I'm going to go back into it. So the servers basically um, in different places, depending on where you are, um, New York City has the one where mine's at, so it's not that far, so I'm not going to get a lot of latency. What I've noticed is when I wasn't streaming, I was getting anywhere from 2 to 17 milliseconds of latency, but depending on where you are from there is going to depend on your latency. Now, I will tell you before we go into it is that you will see probably a little bit more latency only because I'm streaming at the same time, so I'm bogging down my network, and my son's probably upstairs playing Fortnite or you know, one of those things. So anyways, so I want you guys to kind of see that. And I, I know there's going to be some guys that are going to do some videos that are, you know, going to walk through. I like to do more of the live stuff. I like to take you through kind of live and you guys can see kind of what's, what's actually going to happen be, before it happens as I see it. So I, I think this is kind of fun to do an interactive video like this. So that's what we're going to kind of do. Um, all right. Let's go into, let's see if the server will load now. So it says the server is starting up, and it, here you go. You have a D2D instant server. Now, I'm getting 60 to 50 milliseconds of latency on this um, coming into it because, obviously, I'm streaming and talking to you. But this is a full-blown PC. You can see it's in mouse mode. And... Uh, I can click on Steam. I can go into my account. I'm not going to go into Steam on here because obviously the Legends has it built in. But what I wanted to show you was they have some installed uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rescue Palooza that you can play in here. So let's just kind of go into this. Doug, Cool Toy Doug, he actually showed you guys how you can get this running on your PC. But they actually loaded it on here. Um, and they configured everything. And Doug, I don't know if you're watching, but I know you showed how you could go in and configure the buttons. But for, from what I'm seeing with this, um, I it's already configured. So I don't really have to do anything um, you know, to configure this. So I do have the volume down low. So if you guys don't hear the volume, don't, don't freak out. It, it does have volume. So um, let me just kind of... See if I can turn it up. It'll be picked up in my mic. Let me know if it's too loud. Okay. So I can hit start and go into it here. Let's get back into game mode. So here's your options. Start game, options, credits, Hall of Fame, quit. So we're just going to hit start game, new game. Now, I'm not going to sit here and play it. But so right now you can only pick like Leonardo. But unless you're going to play with four players, which this new MGR allows you to do, um, that'll be kind of cool. So Master Splinter wants me to do all kinds of stuff here. So let's go into here. So you can, it basically shows you what, what needs to be done for the training and what your moves are. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here and play this. I just kind of wanted you, you guys to see you know, what this looks like here. Let's get out of the, let's end the game. Whoops. Okay, so now the game's over. Let's, if 
Okay, let's, let's get rewind plus start. You have to hit rewind plus start. That'll bring up your your quit menu in all these different games. Found that out earlier. All right. So basically, you got this PC set up. You have uh, the the coin op, which we'll, we're going to go we're going to go into this. So you guys saw the picture from this earlier, and um, let's load her up. Any questions? Any comments? Feel free to throw them in the chat room. I know, code name Miami, cool toy. <laughs> so basically, you guys are familiar with this um, from a Raspberry Pi, and this is all running on here with all these games on here that I have not gone into any of them yet. <laughs> and a lot, no, I shouldn't say that. I've gone into a few of them and played a few of them, but I mean, like, I haven't dove into all this. And um, you can do uh, rewind start. That should get you out of the, the the different games that you go into. So, like, if we go into a game here, I'm just going into a single game here just by hitting the start button. And obviously, it goes through its checks and for the ROMs and whatnot. There you go, Mike. This is no, Tommy, this is their PC. So this is the virtual PC that we were talking about, that MGR. So you're going to be able to log into this and and uh, have this if you choose this as a as a option. Um, so if you're in the game and you want to get out of the game, you, it's rewind plus start. But if you're if you're inside, you can go to the settings in the coin op menu. So just like a Raspberry Pi, you know, if you want to go down. You'll find that there'll there'll be uh, if you hit the left, there's settings like you can go in here and um, shut down or whatnot. But there's these are these are the different uh, options here. You got Pinball FX3. You've got let's see here. Let's go Nintendo, Nintendo Game and Watch. So there's there's a ton of options inside here. Arcade Classics, of course. So, uh, yeah. So, Twig, I, I can, I can try to go into some of that. What I want to basically show is the UI. Uh, Twig messaged me and wanted me to show Smash, Smash TV. But it, the, the idea of this is not to go into the gameplay right now. Um, it's just basically kind of showing you the UI. Of, of what you're going to get if you decide to go into that. So, you know, PK's vision with this is not everybody's able to get the, uh, you know, not able to get the Vegas. Not everybody's going to be able to get um, to CES and, and that. And so what he wanted to do is he wanted to be able to show you guys what's coming. And this has been in the works for a long time. And I got to admit, you know, I, I've, been, I've been playing with this. Let me go to my uh, screen here with both me and the, and the computer here real quick. Um, I've been playing with this just a, a little bit, so, but seeing what's capable, um, is, is it blew my mind because like the latency with it was not what I expected. Honestly, like I thought it was going to be, you know, a huge, huge latency, but having this ability. So one of the things that they want to be able to do is have you install your own games whether you're doing Steam or you, you're bringing something over, as, as Doug showed, you're seeing the screen here with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, that the, the Palooza, the Rescue Palooza, that was installed right onto this PC. And you have a web browser. I mean, you've got, you've got a bunch of different things. And your mouse is basically the trackball on this, just like it was before. So there's a bunch of different things here. There's an Epic Games Launcher, the Battle.net, You've got your 7-zip. Uh, I mean, this essentially will work, you know, there's League of Legends. This will work just like it's connected to your PC. And like I showed you in the pictures, I didn't install and you know, I don't have any cables run. So for me, personally, I, I think this is a better way of doing it than hooking up a Raspberry Pi. 
just my personal opinion. I don't want to have all these dongles hanging off. And I know some of you guys have done that and I'm not taking anything away from that, but having it all integrated for me is ideal. I think this is, this is a much better option. Now we are going to do a demo eventually. Uh, and I say eventually because I know everybody's busy um, with four players playing four players on on one of these games. So that is coming. So look for that. Glenn, myself, Doug, P-Dubs. We're going to get together or anybody else that wants to join that has the beta. We can, we can do that as well. Um, but so far, my initial response to this, um, I, I, and, and uh, PK will tell you, I was like, this is freaking amazing. <laughs> That's pretty much what I told you, told him. And he'll be able to tell you that in the chat room. I was like, you know, this is amazing. Uh, let me look here at the at the chat room here. Okay, so PK says, because again, we're recording this. PK says, open beta is free for now and rolled into arcade net coming so we can support you. Um, uh, some of the comments here, Twig says that's, that's that's really gorgeous. Uh, Jason says it looks good. Tommy Baker says awesome. I'm in when released. Uh, Douglas Smith says so much cleaner and easier than a Raspberry Pi or Odroid. Uh, you know, I again, I'm not taking away from anybody that's using that, but I agree with Doug. It's it's so much cleaner because you're not adding anything into it. Lauren says can't wait to watch this later. Got family over. No worries, Lawrence. We again, I have to do it in between time. In fact, we're waiting for dinner to show up, so I wanted to kind of jump on and do this. Um, let me check on YouTube. See, I don't want to miss out on anybody over on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Cool Toys has so many options, so many cool options. You can load whatever you want. Um, not just that's right. You can load whatever you want from from what PK says. Again, we don't have all the details yet. Again, this is like a sneak peek. I don't want this. I don't want this to discourage anybody. I just kind of wanted to show you what is coming. What myself, um, and and I don't want to leave anybody out. But the guys that I do know that are, are playing with this is is Glenn's Retro Show, uh, Doug over at Cool Toy and P Dubs. I know Doug and um, Patrick are leaving for CES, so I don't know how much time they're going to get to play with it this week. But we are going to get together and do something with this. Um, so we've been we we're looking at it. We're playing with it. And um, Broken Quad says, if they make it a reasonable price, then yes, I agree. So, PK, if you're still in there, do you have a price range that you're thinking for this so that the, the, the viewers watching here can, can kind of have an idea? Um, I wasn't sure if it was kind of rolled into that dollar an hour that you, you guys initially said, um, but I don't want to state that if that's not the case. P-Dub says, this is fantastic. I guess I'm going to cancel my Raspberry Pi video. <laughs> you can still put the Raspberry Pi out, vi Pi video out. People are still going to watch that. Um, let's see here, broken quad, but I'll have millions of wires hanging off instead of a dollar an hour. To some, yeah, that that might be uh, an option. This okay, so haha, yeah, this does more than Odroid and Pi and and scalable. Well, so this is the thing with the Raspberry Pi, and I know Raspberry Pi four came out. You're limited on your GPU, so what they're giving you here, and, and I don't know if I can get into it, but let's, should we get into it? Should we see what kind of video card this thing is using and what kind of specs this is? I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, parental, oh, Stephen, parental control. Yes, so PK, I haven't found the parental control yet. So if you know exactly where that's at, I'll be happily, happy to turn that on, but there is parental control on here. So. If you guys are streaming games, PK did mention this to me. If you're streaming games, you can turn on parental control so you don't have any embarrassments or anything that would pop up. Again, this is only the second time I booted into it. I don't know where everything is yet. Um, I know some guys probably have played around with it. But I, I, when I put those pictures out, there was so much demand. People are like, oh, that looks cool. I just kind of wanted to give everybody a taste because I know guys... Like maybe Doug will put out a video and kind of go through certain things of how to get to it and some of the other guys. Um, but let's, uh, so PK says, trust us, we at Games Crew hate the a dollar an hour more so. So what that says, guys, is there there could be price changes. So don't freak out and think a dollar an hour. 
PK and his team are working on getting a better price or a possible price change from what he's saying here on uh, Facebook. So, again, you know, this is this is beta right now, so so things are coming. So let's let me put the comments down. I'll check back in this. So guys, keep your comments coming, and um, I'll check back on it. But let's go to the game full screen. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the control panel, and let's see if we can't see what kind of hardware we're dealing with. And that, that might help a lot of people um, with understanding. So I'm not going to break anything. I'm not going to... I'll leave that for Ralph. Ralph. Ralph's good at breaking things. He likes to do that. That, that stuff stresses me out. So if um, he decides to go in there, go, to go in here and do that. But let's go under the system. So right now it's showing that it's a Intel Xeon. Uh, CPU is an E5 2623V4 at 2.6 gigahertz with 30 gigabytes of RAM. So that's pretty intense of a machine. Let's go into the device manager and let's see what kind of video uh, card we're looking at here. So for your gearheads, we've got an NVIDIA Quadro P5000. Uh, that's a pretty beefy video card in this thing. Uh, I'm trying to see what kind of memory that is in it. But if somebody wants to do a quick Google search, how much V memory is in that? I want to say that's like 8 or 16 gig. Uh, but if somebody wants to do a quick Google search on that, it's the NVIDIA Quadro P5000. And we can get an answer on that when it comes into the chat room and and see what see what we're looking at here. As far as that goes, um, and and it looks like you could probably connect just like we had the controllers and everything connected. It looks like you'd be able to do that inside of it, and it is running Windows Server 2016. So, I I would assume any game that's compatible with the Windows Server 2016 is going to work. They have Steam built on there, but again. Because PK and his team has Steam built into the Legends, doing it that way, I might just do it that way as opposed to doing it inside of here. I don't know. I guess I guess time's going to tell. I'm going to pull up the, the chat room here. Uh, so the chat room is saying uh, the video card is an $1,800 video card, according to Douglas Smith. Doug, do we have any memory... Uh, do we have any memory details for that? If, if you wouldn't mind, if you could grab that. So we, we have that on here for those watching this later. It is a very good card, according, according to David Bussell. It, 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 I know it's a... I've looked up the uh, some of the different versions of the NVIDIA. Um, 16, so I was I was right. It's it, between 8 and 16. It's a 16 gig, uh, cool toy said. So that's pretty good. Yeah, PK says, yeah, we hate a dollar more an hour than anybody else does. Um microphones are being dropped before CES even starts, Jason said. You know, this was really cool. Um, to be fair, okay, we did spend a lot of time yesterday on the Arcade 1-Up announcement leak. PK had given us this beta a couple days ago. We didn't get time. The way our show is structured, it's hard for me to switch and be back there and pull up the Legends Ultimate and, and do some of this. And my son, being seven, I didn't feel comfortable enough for him to go into this and, and, and kind of have him walk us around this. So maybe next week what we can do is have uh, Doug, if he's back, um, or or both of them, Doug and, and Glenn, kind of get into this, and we can dive into this a little deeper on Friday if you guys are interested. Because Doug has his set up for a capture card, um, or we could have Glenn do it if, Glenn, if Doug uses his capture card for his camera. So we can we can have that so that way I'm switching it doesn't take away from that so if you guys are up for that Doug if you're watching if you're up for that we, we can definitely do something like that and kind of dive into it or, or Glenn but uh, this is this is pretty awesome let, let me look over on YouTube uh, let's see here <laughs> P-Dub says now I want to take my Legends arcade cabinet with me to Vegas well, they'll have one there at Showstoppers. 
Right. Specs can all also always be increased. That's a good point, Mike. Uh, so I'm going to read this. Mike uh, Lebitsky says, Specs can always be increased because it's a server in, uh, instance, which is correct. Um, will, we see Tron, will we see a Tron cabinet at CES? Um, I, I don't know. Um, PK is the man, Mike says. He gets it. P-Dev says, I love PK. This is amazing. Cool Toy said, agree. PK is great. Uh, Mike says, by the way, for educational purposes only, Coin Ops next runs P3, PS3, Wii U, the latest games, PC games, etc. I have capture card setups too on my Legends now. Okay, so yeah, P-Dubs can always... Uh, you know, we can have that included. We'll, we'll figure out something where we can get it in. So we got a bunch of guys doing this. But again, I know a lot of guys were wanting to watch this on later. I know time zone changes for people that are in Germany. We have one of our good guys in the community. He wanted to watch it, but it was late in Germany. So he's going to watch this tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure I, I covered a bunch of things on this. Um, any other questions that you guys have? Do you want me to go into one of the... I'll go into a safe game since I haven't found where, where the uh, the parental controls are. I'll go into a safe game here on Coin Ops, so you guys can just kind of see how the latency is with playing it. Let me close this out. Let me go back to the full screen here. I'm gonna go into the uh, the area here, and I'm just gonna grab. Um, I'll just grab a game that's. Uh, let's go into 1944. Just because it's it's a um, it's a safe game, so we don't have to worry about the mature area. That way, you guys can see. Wow, this looks this looks full screen too. Is it? The question is, is it stretched? Uh, it it doesn't it doesn't look stretched. Maybe a little. The screen's a little cut off at the top, but it's but it's not bad. It's not something I would complain about. Feels good. Now I'm noticing a little bit of latency with, with moving left and right, only because again my my latency's up near 60 milliseconds, and that's because I'm streaming at the same time as playing this. So, but it's not unbearable. Like I'm actually able to to play the game. I mean, 60 milliseconds is, is, is again, you're, you're splitting hairs. But again, when I was streaming, when I wasn't streaming, I was down around 7, 7 to 17. It was fluctuating depending on how much movement. But again, you're seeing right now at 60 frames a second and uh, 60 milliseconds of latency, I mean, I'm... I'm doing pretty good. Like I'm, I, like I said, the only time I notice it is when I go left and right. So you guys should be set. I need my son. He's really good at. Uh, he's really good at this game. Okay, get all my gear back. Again, I didn't want to spend the whole stream just playing game. Um, we can do that another time, but I, I mainly wanted to get this out since I was kind of sneaking those pictures out. Okay, so now if I want to get out of the game, I just hit rewind and then start, and it'll bring me back to this carousel that you can choose from. And uh, I know some guys were, were, were making this with the Raspberry Pi, and they have, it's a really nice interface, Arkanoid 2. I love Arkanoid. It's one of my, one of my favorite games. Um, so let's go back to my camera here for a second. Let's see if anything comes in here. Well, so you guys know when we when we talked about the toy shock and how latency and lag is, and everybody was complaining about it. Even at sixty milliseconds, it was still fun. I was able to play it. Now, again, it was nineteen forty four. wasn't a mission critical game. So I understand when people get into the whole latency lag thing, and, and I'm not I'm not disputing that. 
But again, take into consideration we're streaming. I'm streaming out to the internet. My wife's watching probably Disney Plus. My son's up there. There's going to be latency with that. What I can do is shoot a video over my shoulder down the road if you want to see that I was getting a true uh, 7 to 17. In fact, if you look at the picture, you can probably see it, that I was only getting 7 to 17 milliseconds. And, and I was playing games like that, and, you know, there was, there was no issue. Okay, uh, Zen Studio is a good company. I play pinball games on mobile, and 1UP Arcade Pinball Machine is really cool, David Russell says. Um, I am hardwired, Tommy Baker. That's a really good question to ask. I am hardwired. I, I am a stickler. Anybody that knows me, when any online gaming, the only, the only ones I'm not hardwired on are my Xbox and my PlayStation since they're right over there. But this cabinet, since we are we are capturing the video over the Ethernet with NDI, long story. <laughs> but I don't have a traditional capture card in this so that you're able to see the screen. Um, and I can go into that later. But I have to have Ethernet. Other guys, you guys would get really shaky video. It would look really bad. Um, let's go over to YouTube. Let's see how many questions we got over here, if there's any questions. I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, okay, console kits. Let's see here. Well, let's scroll up here. I see console kits joined. Uh, could you list any of the pain, the pain points? Um, the pain points right now, I would have to say, and being completely honest, if you are not tech savvy, I could see that being a pain point because you have to be able to navigate Windows. Now, I'm assuming, and PK, you can you can add to this if you're still here. I'm assuming everything that I'm seeing out here on the main menu system is going to be installed for the users. Let me go back to the full screen mode here. I'm assuming everything that we see here will be um, will be pre-installed for users, or if it's something that users will have to install themselves. So I would say that could be that could be a, a pain point. So console kits. That's a good point. Let me let me go back to this. Let me go back to my camera here. He says uh, 60 milliseconds is like three to four frames of lag. Right, it's not a lot. You, like you hit, you hit the button and it just you, you can notice that a little bit. So it's not it's not uh, bad. Uh, let me see here. Console kit says I've seen 10 milliseconds when testing. It's pretty good. Right. So when I'm not streaming, it, I, I'm pretty good. P Dub says um, fire the special power. Not exactly sure what he means by that. Maybe he meant in 1944. Sorry, it's a little delayed here. <laughs> P Dub goes, lag was so 2019. Let's leave it in the last decade. My family laughs at him. Okay. Uh, let me go back to Facebook. Let's see if uh, PK answered the question. Um, so PK says, facelift by the ACE team now for the UI, the UX. But um, PK, are we going to have like say coin ops pre-installed are we going to have like um steam pre-installed epic games launcher pre-installed the league of legends pre-installed if that's the case then i don't think there's going to be a hiccup for average users if you know how to operate windows which most of you i would assume know how to operate windows if they have it already pre-installed that much of it and you want to just utilize the tools that at games is giving you now, there might be not be some hiccups, but if you not install games and whatnot, it's it's just like you're remotely operating a PC. So that will be the question. We'll see if it catches up and, and PK can answer that. Um, but other than that, I I think that the only the only hiccup you're going to run into is going to be how much latency you can tolerate, depending on where you are in the United States or in the world to where you're closest to the server. Because I think for some, it may be more frustrating than it is for others. Like, you know, when we, we talked about the toy shock, right? People were getting on me because I said, oh, the latency is not bad, I can't really see it. And they're like, well, how can you not see it? You know, it's just, honestly, for me, it, it doesn't bother me. But then if I come over and play Pinball FX, I understand completely what they're saying because Pinball FX is moving like at twice the speed. Is it still fun? Yes. So I guess that's where you have to kind of figure out when you're using a service like that, 
I would say you should hardwire it, especially if it's a paid service. You want to get the most uh, best possible experience out of it that you can. So everybody's tolerance to latency, whether it's three to four frames or whether it's 15 to 20 frames, is going to be on that individual person. I hope that's kind of a, a good answer for that. Uh, let's see here. The Garage Gamer. Tell PK no one can buy the thing. That is the, that is the major problem. You know, I was just at Sam's Club. We had to pick up um, some garbage bags. We always buy bulk of stuff like that, uh, Ziploc bags, because my kids are in school. And I purposely walked around looking for it at games, and they didn't even have the display unit out. There was no display unit. So either they sold it or they took it down because people are asking for it and there's no supply. So it's a good, it's a good problem to have. But the Garage Gamer wants one. So PK, if you're listening, the Garage Gamer wants one. Um, you can't have coin ops pre-installed unless it's only with the games list or excuse me, with the games that come with the cabinet, and then you add your own. Right. This is something that you, because there's there's ROMs on it. So, but I guess what I'm saying is the coin ops frame, if you will, um, the coin ops. I forget what you call it. The user interface with that, you know, the shell, if you will. So if you know how to operate something like that, you could dump your your ROMs that you're bringing that you own that you could put into it. Front end, thank you, console kits. Yes, so that's what I'm. So I want to stress that I'm not asking if all these games come with it, PK. I'm asking if the coin ops front end will be on it, or any of those things. Okay. So let's see, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Let me go back here. I got to go back in the comments here, Facebook that I missed, so I can reiterate to the guys on YouTube. Okay, uh, let's see here. Jason uh, Tony says, I think At Games just took away my PC purchase cash from HP. No need to buy one now. So there you go. Tommy Baker says, take my money. P uh, PK says, go to the site and look at your latency. Uh, will the virtual PC, David Brussel says, will the virtual PC be wiped after you're done with it? Like the... Uh, like other companies do when they're gaming like NVIDIA now, where if you download a game, then later you're done with it, it gets wiped. Um, so PK says, for the ping time and whatnot, you have New York City, Chicago, Dallas, LA, San, San Jose right now. And then he says, we will come to your city, but it will take some time. So know that when they first launch it, it's not going to be everywhere but it, you, I'm sure you'll have a close city um, he said when you when you travel you roam to guest stations away from your home station uh, let's see here replying to David no no the the virtual so David had asked if the virtual PC would be wiped like it is and, and PK says no it's your game room it's persistent so that's really cool and here's something that I found out when doing this I I was having because I didn't figure out the controls. I'm one of them, I just dive right in. I shut off the I shut off the um at games legend machine, turned it back on, went right into the server, and it was like I mean naturally that's how servers work. So for the guys that don't understand, if you shut down the Legends PC, go up and eat dinner, come back down, turn it on, go into your your virtual system like I did there, the Miami your PC is going to be right up and running right where you left off. I mean, if you pause the game, that's that's how this, that's the great thing about it, the server. Like if you get done playing at night and you want to just pause it till the next day, you go up, go to bed, shut your shut your Legends Ultimate down, power it back up, go into your server, boom, you're right back where you were. So that's something that's 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 really cool with it with playing on a server. All right, I'm going back over to YouTube to see what their comments are. Um. Let's go here. Cool Toy says some cabinets went on sale on Sam's Club's website online yesterday for a short while. At uh, he's telling the Garage Gamer, uh, Coin Ops is a front end. Mame is an emulator. So if they're gonna put that on there, maybe you guys will be able to do that. Let's see here. Yes, you can download Launchbox on it if you want. Um, or Hyperspin. Mike says. Let's see here. The Garage Gamer. Ad Games needs to make it available at other retailers. Best Buy and Amazon, please. 
Uh, I would agree with that. I think a lot of people would like to see that. But again, I don't know if when you get into Amazon and Best Buy, if you're if they're going to run into the same problem they ran in with Walmart, or do you have to shrink the size of the cabinet by an inch to get it on the shelves? I, I don't know all that logistics, so I guess we have to wait and see what, what they have to say about it. Uh, let's see here. Coin, coin ops. Mike says coin ops is just the easiest because you paste packs on top of it. Uh, Console Kit says, I think what Steven wants is all the open source front ends pre-installed with, without ROMs. Then he can sideload what he wants. Is that right? Yes. Uh, not just necessarily for me because I, I mean, I, I put on Emulation Station. I've done, I've not done coin ops. But I've done emul emulation station on a Pi. I've done it on my son's PC. And I'll be the first to tell you, I am not a guru when it comes to major emulation. I have um, open EMU on my Mac. All great front ends. They all work great. Um, I, I guess I'm thinking in the terms of those guys that we see right now in the Legends community, and I'm not putting anybody down, so please don't take it that way, that have a hard time even getting ROMs to work on the Legends Ultimate cabinet went just by um, putting in a thumb drive. So that's my only concern right now is that we have a community out there that if we don't have the front end installed, uh, guys like P-Dub, Console Kits, Ralph, all these guys, Coy, uh, you know, Cool Toy, they're all going to have easy ways. They know how to do all this, but again, the hang-up would be somebody buys into this and they don't know how to do the ROMs. They don't know how to set up a front end to make it work, that might be a challenging point. Now, if they don't do that, we'll have to rely on the community to take you step by step through to install that to make it work on your 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 own virtual games station, if you will. Um, uh, Super Patriot says, direct the consumer, keep the profit. Uh, P-Dub says, ask PK, please confirm once out of beta if you do not have an ArcadeNet account active and live, will you not have access? I can answer that. If you don't have an ArcadeNet account, you will not be able to access this because I had we had that special login to get into it to see it. So um, if you don't have an ArcadeNet account, you're not going to be able to get into it. But ArcadeNet, is, you can just sign up. Um, well, I don't know if, uh, you know, I don't know if too much competition is going to oversaturate the market and kill retro gaming. I think that's up to the individual. I think competition for everybody is good. I think for us, the consumers, it's even good. Cool Toys, uh, in response to that, says more options only means better products for the consumers. And I, and I agree with that. Let's go back to Facebook comments. Okay. PK says, owner's private game room, persistent privacy, future-proof. David Bruss Bustle says, I wonder if it will be hourly or rolled into the arcade net sub, like if you have unlimited time or if it's an hourly pay-as-you-go. PK says, in response to that, it's rolled into. We are working on it. Please give us some time. It's a baby step for us. Thanks to the owner's patience. I exactly, guys. Just, just be patient on pricing and everything. You're getting a first look. These are what the guys are going to be seeing that are going to be meeting with PK's team out in CES. And PK was generous enough that he said, you know what, Steven, go ahead. Go show it to everybody. Give them a little taste of what's what's going to be coming. And, and I know there's a bunch of guys out there that have betas too that are going to be showing videos. So check those videos out, and you guys can make the determination for yourself. But I think it's really cool that he's working with a bunch of us to allow us to bring this to you to show you what's going to be possible with this arcade. So just like you guys were doing last night with Arcade 1-Up, you guys are getting a little impatient. Like, it's coming. <laughs> Things are coming. We just got to kind of hang in there and, and see what they're going to bring. Um, going back to YouTube, let's see the comments over here on YouTube, because then I'm going to wrap this up here in just a few minutes. Um, let's see here. What do we got here? Super Patriot says, the good competitors... Uh, stay the weak ones fall away like capitalism intended. Uh, Christopher calls it won't kill retro gaming. It'll it will some of the competition, and that's how everything is, right? So if 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 people don't have enough innovation, it, it could it could kill it. Yes. Um, 
P Dev says, I'm all for competition. Mike says, and this is just the tip of the iceberg for Arcade Net. Absolutely. And you know what? At Games stated that in the beginning. You know, we all are like, really, this is what we get. Um, but the reality is PK and Bill and the team and, and, and Harold, they were like, well, just just hang on. We're we're just launching it. So this arcade can do a lot, and it's continually gonna be doing a lot. So I think it's I think it's pretty awesome. Oh, so that's a cool question. So David Russell says, will they open the beta to everyone to allow people to beta test this? Uh, PK, if you're still here, if you're able to answer that, and then if he responds, I will kind of put it on the video here. And just remember, anybody that's watching this video right now, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, that's why I'm kind of jumping back and forth. For those that are watching on Facebook, you're getting the comments from YouTube, and those on YouTube, you're getting the comments from Facebook. So you can... Uh, refer to this later. I want to make sure that you guys are seeing what they're what they're saying about this as far as from at games. So you kind of get your questions answered as best as possible. And like I said, um, as this kind of progresses, we can get Harold back on the show to talk about this, and and you know get Glenn's take and and Doug and and Patrick's take on this on an upcoming show as they get to play with this and get get more hands on with it. Um, this is just my first initial, hey guys, I'm getting into this after I put the firmware on earlier today. Um, I, I just think, I think it's amazing. I just, I really do. I, I think it's, it, it takes this cabinet to a whole new level. You know what my son said when he came down? He was like, dad, that's awesome. So, I mean, that's just the initial response. Okay, so PK's response too, will this be a public beta? He says, expanded beta. We are planning uh, an expanded invite, getting the CS team and the live ops team in place to support you so it's good experience. So there you go. So if you didn't get a chance to play with this and you'd like to play with this, there may be opportunities for you to be able to do this um, per PK. So one of the things you guys will see, and it just booted me out of it because we were probably sitting here uh, on it, that's really cool. So if you're not in, in the uh, server, it boots you out after just kind of hanging tight for, for 15 minutes or so um, with it. So there you go. Something something new, because I know they did that before. Uh, Alfredo, hey, how's it going? Good work, Tech Buzz, and watch replay later. All right, sounds great. Let's go back over to YouTube. So my family says it's unbelievable how the cabinet changes uh, changed since I first bought it. Absolutely, I 100% I agree with you. Um, Jamie Manley says, do you think At Games will release a cabinet with more conventional screen 4.3? Um, I don't work for At Games, but I, I and I'm I'm not gonna speak, but my opinion is probably not. Only because the way they have integrated the internet and they've integrated Steam and Blizzard and Origin and all these other uh, places and now a PC. Everything new is all 16.9. So if you want to play a letterbox game, a 4x3 game, uh, you're going to have to play it with black bars or put the artwork on it. Um, I, don't, I don't foresee them going that way unless they decide to do maybe a bar top that's going to be strictly for 80s and some 90s games. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. Um, uh, tip of the iceberg. Uh, cool Toy says he agrees with Mike about this is the tip of the iceberg. Um, cool Toy says aspect ratio is easy to change in most of these front end gaming applications, so you could actually change it. Like I said, you would have black letter bars and everything like that. So um, I, I don't foresee them doing a, a four three monitor. Oh, you like my Sonic t-shirt? Yeah. Thank you, P-Dubs. All right, coming back over to Facebook. For those just joining us, um, listen, if you missed the beginning part of it, go back and watch it after I shut the stream down, and you can see the walkthrough a little bit of the MGR, my game room. That's what it's called. And you can see what it looks like on the Legends Ultimate. And like I said, stay tuned to some of these guys like Cool Toy and P-Dubs and... Um, I don't know, console kits, if you're doing a video, some of these guys that are going to be doing videos, maybe walkthroughs of this, you can kind of get more of an in-depth look 
of uh, some gameplay. You can see their latency depending on where they are in the world. Uh, in, you know, in the United States here to see how far they are from the servers and get their take on it because um, right now it's, it's just beta. And PK did say he's going to open it up. Um, they're working on opening it up to more and more people to beta test. So stay tuned for that. So this isn't going to be something that you're going to see in your firmware update next week or the week after. This is going to take some time. So I just want to put that out there. Um, Nick Christman says, I'm late to the party. I have to watch the replay. I'm really interested in this. Absolutely. Go back and, and check this out um, when we wrap this up. Uh, let's see here. Any other questions, guys, before I wrap up the stream here? Because I want to go up and eat some dinner. Um, but I also wanted to kind of give you guys just a, a perusing in. Because content creators out there, we're going to be creating videos um, the next couple days, maybe even a couple weeks on this firmware. We want to let you know what's coming. So, again, I, I like to do my stuff live. I like that interaction rather than um, kind of doing some edited videos and things like that. It's just, I don't know, it's my style. It's what I like. Um, but I but I, I like the interaction, so I, I try to do it live. But there's going to be a lot more guys putting out videos, so you definitely want to check them out and, and uh, see what they're doing. So p -Dub says, could this lead to playing MMO games down the road with each other? That's possible. I guess, well, I mean, I guess anything's possible, right, with, with this. Um, PK really hasn't limited it. Let me see here. I keep turning off the screensaver because I don't want the audio to travel through. Um, let's see here. Any other questions? You guys on Facebook, anything else that, you, that you're curious about with this? Um, MGR that I didn't answer, didn't cover, you didn't see. If I did cover it, I'll just say, hey, go back and watch earlier. Uh, oh, the RetroBuzz, are you going to buy uh, the domain? Um, right now, the RetroBuzz is a show, okay? It's a show, and we, we called it the RetroBuzz because Glenn's retro show. And originally when we started, it was just Glenn and I. And so we took both of our, our names, the Tech Buzz and the retro, Glenn's retro show, and we mashed them together. And that's where the retro buzz came from. P-dubs, we have to pay him royalties because he came up with it. No, I'm just kidding. But he did come up with that. He says, why don't you just mash it together? So we might have to figure out a way to kind of change it even more because now Dougie's joined us over for the Cool Toy. And P-Dubs is doing the Arcade Loft. We're going to have like this whacked out name. So I, I'm just kidding on that, of course. But we just all said, yeah, it sounds like a great name. And we just kind of rolled with it. So I don't know if we're going to do a domain. But it's basically a place where we all can congregate, talk about what we all love and what the community loves and bring people in, companies in, to talk about their products and give them a platform with high quality video. Um to showcase what they're doing. So that's that's kind of the derivative behind it. Um, but we don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do a website per se or a domain behind it. I think what we have right now is, 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 is good, I think. Was this, uh, okay, he's talking to. Doug says, Retro Buzz name is great. Yes, Tommy Baker. Yeah, uh, you know, it's something you guys will all be able to check out. And like I said, we'll, we'll come up with more. Uh, PK says, we played Fortnite in our office on the, um, the uh, At Games uh, Legends Ultimate. He said, it, basically, his, his statement is, PK's statement is, it's MGR, which means my game room. That's, that's what it's called, my game room. Uh, he says, you do what you wish in there. It's, it's, we, you know, we stay out, and you have full privacy and control. So that's, that's one of his statements that he's saying there. So you guys, on, that's what Facebook said. Let me go over to YouTube. Um, so Cool Toy... Uh, stated that it's 100% possible to P-Dub's comment about playing MMO games down the road with each other. Um, Christopher calls, can you get ArcadeNet and not have the Ultimate Legends? 
Um, I believe, and, and this is specifically for the, um, the arcade net is specifically for the Legends Connected cabinet. I don't believe, and PK, you can confirm this, but I don't believe they have any other products that are arcade net capable at this time. That doesn't mean down the road they won't come out with an arcade net console, which could be pretty cool for people that want to have just all their stuff in the cloud through arcade net. You buy a console, which is essentially just like any other console. You plug it in, but you log into arcade net, and boom, you're connected to everything that they have with arcade net. So console can what be an amazing way to make this better? Asking for a friend. Uh, making, making, uh, oh, 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 the cool retro buzz. <laughs> Man, we're going to have like this long time. We could do that, actually. The cool retro buzz. Now we're going to have to pay royalties to you now. Sorry, PW, you lost your royalties. Um, cool retro buzz. Owe me a Coke. Uh, what I did is step away for 20 minutes. Uh, broken quad, we're just kind of wrapping things up. You can, we'll, we'll be able to go back here. Uh, so people will be watching adult movies with this. You know, my family, that very well could be possible. And like like, P, like uh, PK said, my, my game room, it's whatever you want it to be. If that's what you want to do on your Legends Ultimate, that's entirely up to you. Um... Have PK pre-install Retromania. Let's see here. No one plays League of Legends anymore, P-Dub says. Oh, that's not true. I know a lot of guys who talk about it. I don't play it, but, uh, you know, to each their own. Virtual Pinball. Yes, you can. there is Virtual Pinball on this, too. So in, in inside of that, you could get into um, Pinball Effects. So you can play that on, on site here. I know it's the same one that you guys have seen P-Dub play on Steam. You can do that. But listen, we're going to do more as I get more familiar with this. Because um, I don't want to be fumbling around through everything. As I get more familiar, we'll do more live streams that I can kind of go in there. And you guys can tell me where you want to go. And if you don't have the beta or have access to it, we'll do that. Um, I'm sure other YouTubers and live streamers will do the same thing. So... Just be on the watch for that. That's the best thing I could say. But, you know, I wanted to kind of come, come on here and just get everybody hyped because this is pretty cool. This is cool stuff. Oh, we want At Games Virtual Pinball. That's what they want. They want a At Games Virtual Pinball machine. Sorry, I'm going back and forth here in comments here. All right, going back to YouTube. Cool Toy says, definitely would love to see Retromania. My family says, ha ha. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap. I really appreciate you guys coming out and, and checking this out and watching us. Um, like I said, we'll do more live streams. I, I'm sure there's some guys that are putting videos out tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I have this video I may put up tomorrow. I'm not going to do it today. It'll be in the re repeat here on Facebook that you guys can watch it. Again, it's just like an ad hoc stream. But... Um, I'm really excited. This is really cool stuff coming out from uh, At Games. And, uh, you know, only cooler things are going to come as more and more betas come out. I look forward to playing with this as well as I'm sure you guys look forward to seeing what's coming. Make sure we can get all the bugs ironed out. Make sure the experience is the best possible for the end users out there. And I'm, I'm really, really pleased with, with the way everything has been going um, with with the direction of this i think i think you have the best of all the worlds right here um so again i appreciate everybody coming out we'll see you friday for more of the retro buzz if you don't see me before that um doing some ad hoc streams with glenn or or or, or uh, some of the others um but we'll definitely see you friday for the retro buzz until next time guys keep buzzing